Hey everyone, I'm Jim Graham. Welcome to the RC Group's FPV truck project. This is phase one using the Wraith. On the top, you're going to see an aluminum roof made by Custom Metal Fab. This has a GoPro mount, but it also gives me a better view and takes out some of the bars up top that were obstructing the view. The other thing I needed to do was to create a deck where I could put all my FPV equipment. I made this rear deck. It's covered in Velcro. And you can access your battery, which I'll put in here. And the deck is there to hold our FPV components. So with the Velcro, I can pretty much mount anything I want back here. It'll stay in place, and it's in the, the right area for weight. And also, I want the camera in the back so you can see the dash and the hood. So let's look at our FPV components made by RC Logger. The RC Logger Pro is the camera, and they also make the transmitter. And then I have uh, IB Crazy Blue Beam Cloverleaf Antenna on the top. I like the RC Logger Pro for FPV because it's got a small footprint, and it's light, and it'll pretty much fit anywhere. I created a little base just to raise it up a little bit so I get a better view out of the back of the truck. And once again, by using the aluminum roof, I've removed the roll bars, which were totally in the way of the, the camera, and I've really made the screen or my, my image bigger than I see coming off the camera. So now, this is the other thing. I, I'm not pulling power off of the axle. What I am doing, or off the Wraith, what I am doing is using this BEC connected to a small lithium polymer battery, and that's going to power the transmitter. It's a good way to go because uh, you're not taking battery power away from your truck and I have yet to really get under the hood of this truck that'll come in following phases as I keep upgrading this FPV rig so now everything's in place and it's ready to rock we turn on the transmitter you hold down the button till it turn till the light turns blue right there then we turn on our RC Logger Pro. And you'll see those lights come on. It has an SD card so you can record as well. Now comes the tricky part, or the cool part. Here's my transmitter. I put Velcro on the back. This is a receiver and an LCD screen made by RC Logger. It's 3.5 inches, so it's small enough to fit on the back of my transmitter. And voila, we now have an FPV truck with a screen mounted to the transmitter. So now we have a reliable but not too complicated FPV first person video rig. We have our screen coming from the cockpit. So the RC logger is talking to our receiver and our transmitter is talking to our truck. The only thing left to do now is take a spin while I play a little guitar and we'll see what this rig is like.
So overall, I have been very excited with the outcome of the FPV truck project. It was very straightforward and simple to get the gear on it. It uh, had a lot of room to put my FPV equipment. Any mods I had to make were very simple. And then once I got it out into the field, it was a ton of fun. I knew it would be cool, but I really, really enjoyed it. And I'm looking at future modifications like uh, pan tilt camera and goggles and some other things. But we need to thank the people that donated all the great parts for this truck, like Axel sent us the Wraith, RC loggers, camera, transmitter. I'd be crazy sent me the blue beam antenna without me even asking. Thank you. I'd be crazy. And we also have to thank Advanced Metal Fab for the aluminum roof. It has a GoPro mount that we'll utilize in a future story, but it gave us a great view and took some of the bars out of the way. I hope you've enjoyed this FPV truck build. I'm Jim T. Graham with rcgroups.com. Check in for the next edition.